What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to install the MSI MEG Core Liquid S360. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is figure out where you're gonna install it. On this case, I've seen a lot of people install it either with the pipes on the backside like this on top, and then the fans, you know, pushing air out the top or this way. Uh, I'm gonna install it like I had my previous AIO, which is right in here on the back side of this with the fans on the front side and uh, basically the pipes down. If you're not sure what way to install a AIO, I will link a video from Jay's Two Cents down in the description. He explains it very well on the specific orientation, kind of where to put these pipes. And uh, you know, you basically just never want the pump as the highest point in the system. So all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this thing installed in here. Now, every case is different. My case has this little bracket right here that comes out and the brackets on top and bottom also come out. So this makes it so easy for me to install because all I have to do is take this now, basically line it up with the holes and basically just screw everything together. Now, if you had a case that these brackets don't come out and they're on there, you're just gonna have to install everything, you know, like directly in the case, just like that. Obviously these fans would be removed, but you can do a push-pull configuration as well. Now, MSI does include all of the screws and the brackets and everything you could possibly need for all the various sockets that there are. We're gonna go ahead and need the AM4. As of right now, all we need to worry about is this little bag of screws that have the really long screws and the shorter screws. So basically, if you were installing this on top of your case, you would need to use the shorter screws and basically put them through the holes up top, hold this up here and screw them in. The longer screws are for the fans, basically to connect the fans onto your radiator. You would take the long screw, feed it through this hole on the fan and then put the screw in the corresponding holes and tighten them all down. So I'm gonna show you the way I'm gonna install it. In your case, as I already mentioned, it might be different, but overall, same concept. So I put my bracket on here just like this. And basically, we're gonna put all of our fans where we need them to go. Always try to keep in mind the way you're gonna run your wiring in there. So for me, I'm actually gonna run them straight back. So I'm gonna run them just like this. Now, always keep in mind the front of the fan pulls air in and the back of the fan pushes air out. So in my configuration, I want these fans to pull air from the back into the case through the radiator. So I'm gonna set them up basically with this facing the inside of the case. So yeah, there's no right or wrong way of installing uh, the fans. It just really depends if you want them to be exhaust or intake. So basically we're gonna run, we're gonna feed that, those longer screws in here and then put it onto the corresponding hole. Now do the same for the other fans and then you can put the radiator inside of the case. So the first step is always basically to install the fans onto the radiator. It just so happens that I'm also putting my bracket because it's removable from the case as I explained. All right, now that you got all the fans on there, you're gonna have to go ahead and install the radiator into your case. So there you can see it's now installed with the fans. And now we're gonna go ahead and focus on installing the water block to your motherboard. So on this motherboard, we're gonna use these little screws and basically we gotta take off these little brackets. So the way I'm gonna do it is take the two, the two screws from the top off along with the bracket because if you remove both, that back plate's gonna fall out. So then take two of these and basically there's this uh, like recess side and uh, you're gonna put that side facing the motherboard. So again, you're gonna take this recessed side right here and do 
together just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and do this bottom one as well now before you go throw away these brackets along with the screws I suggest taking a small ziplock bag putting them in there and just keeping them for the future because you never know when you might need these again you might upgrade the water cooler in the future or whatever the case and you might need these brackets so it's good to keep I have like three sets of these so I always keep them now basically finish installing these bottom ones and as you can see that back plate never fell out because we always had tension on it so that's why I like to do the two top and then the two bottom now it's time to put the correct bracket on here be careful there is already pre-applied thermal paste on this water block so what you're gonna do with these is you just twist it uh, counterclockwise if you're facing it like I am and it just pops right off it comes pre-installed with I believe this is the Intel version so basically take the AMD version and uh, you're gonna install this the way that you need it to be installed so keep in mind of the orientation and then decide which side the pipes are gonna go on so you can see that was crooked so I'm gonna take it back off and move it one over and I think that's actually perfect right there so then these pipes and the cables get them out of the way so they don't get in the way and then you're gonna wanna place the water block on those screws and then you're gonna wanna get this little baggie right here it's not labeled but there's these big uh, I don't know what they're called nuts I guess and you're gonna wanna thread these on just thread them on by hand at first kind of loosely you know don't overdo it and now what you want to do is like diagonally uh, tighten them both together by hand sort of like snug just like that and then do the other two and the reason you want to do it like this is just to have equal pressure on all four corners so it's not sitting uh, it's not seating lopsided or anything so you won't have any cooling issues or overheating issues I should say then you can take your Phillips head screwdriver and finish them off and now we have all these cables to run to the back of the PC where they need to go and these bottom ones you could actually run them up like that and run them back with those my GPU sits vertically right here so it's gonna be blocking all this so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually run them along the tubes and just straight down so there we go and now let's go ahead and get to the back of this we'll pull all these cables through and I'm gonna show you exactly how you should plug them in now I did make one mistake already this labeled CPU fan does not need to go back there actually should actually be plugged directly into your CPU fan header so there you can see CPU fan header it's the gray one and now you can see this is only three pin this is four pin there's this little rail on here that you just align it with the rail up there I'm trying to do this while looking through my camera <laughs> there we go it is fully plugged in Basically, the rest of the cable, you're just going to feed it either through here or through this hole. Kind of, you know, get it nice and clean. That's actually why I'm missing two screws right here. Because I'm actually going to stick it right down through the motherboard. Kind of like this cable is right here. Basically, I ran all the cables through. This cable goes to your USB port on your motherboard, which I'll show you in a second. This one's a SATA cable, and uh, basically that plugs into one of your SATA connectors. And I found one right over here. This basically comes off of your power supply in the back. They have like a little L shape. There's no wrong way to plug this in. So you plug that in just like this. So the SATA port is plugged in. Here's one of those connectors that came off of the water block. This is the one that had the three four pin connectors that look like this. And basically these three cables are from the fans themselves and all three fans will plug into that you plug them in just like you did with your CPU fan and all the fans are now connected 
the last thing to plug in is the USB cable. So I'm gonna show you that now. So basically you ran this back here just to get rid of all the slack. You're gonna to have to run it back out to your motherboard and I'll turn this around and show you now. Now for the USB connector, it's just gonna plug in over there. And basically there's only one way to plug it in. As you can see, one pin is missing. So it won't let you plug it in basically upside down. So you just have to align it. I'm gonna to try to show you the best that I can. And there it goes, it is plugged in. And as you can see, I have two. Now, basically, if you don't have enough ports for that USB connector on your motherboard, you can get one of these plugs in, same spot you just seen, and it splits into two. You can also get one that splits into four, which I am gonna need because as you can see, I had to unplug something. But for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and it plugs the same exact way that you plugged it into your motherboard. But now, you just go ahead and tuck all your cables away, clean them up best you can. And it is almost time to get this thing powered back on. Now, obviously you have to put everything all back together, put your GPU back in and all of that good stuff. And you're ready to start it right up. With this specific model, we need to install a specific software to control the screen. And I believe it's gonna control like the fan PWM, the pump speed and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you that next. But if you already know how to do the whole software thing and everything, and uh, you don't need instruction on that, that's all I got for you in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to know how to install the software and everything, stay tuned. I will have a link down in the description for the proper software. Well, now everything is installed and running. We're gonna go ahead and install the software. So basically I'll have the link to this down in the description. And what you're gonna wanna do is pick Windows 1064 or Windows 1164, whatever your uh, operating system is. Click download. All right, once it's fully downloaded, you're gonna wanna extract and then just go ahead and go through the install process. Click finish. Let's go ahead and open it up. Agree to the terms and conditions. Go ahead and click start now. So now you can see up here in the corner, core liquid. And basically this is where you're gonna go ahead and change everything that's going on and mine is set up with the pipes on the right side so i'm going to go ahead and click that click save so now you can adjust everything through here you can go to fan settings you can change basically everything so basically that is it now hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like this type of content feel free to give me a thumbs up it really helps the channel out and if you like this type of content even more feel free to subscribe Thank you to the team at MSI for sending this out for me to do these videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. Now, with all that being said, I appreciate all of you watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.